Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do my first get ready with me. So today's my birthday and I turned 16. So I'm gonna do a get ready with me for my sweet 16. And I already did my hair. Um, in the shower I washed it with the Diva Curl No Poo, Diva Curl Wash Day Wonder, Diva Curl Warm Condition. I used the Diva Curl Heaven and Hair as a leave-in. I used the leave-in decadence, and I used the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel to seal it all in. And basically, I just put it up in here so that I can show you guys my makeup. I don't usually have makeup on. I don't wear it. I don't like to wear it. It makes my face break out. So, <clears throat> just for today, because you know it's my birthday, it's going to get pretty or whatever. So, I have to wear makeup. Oh, after I wear the makeup, I use the Victoria's Secret Pink Do This with Rose Nourishing Clay Mask. This thing works miracles. It was $7, and it had my face feeling beautiful, and I put lotion on afterwards. Oof, it was shining, feeling beautiful, everything. All right, so first, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. Boom. Okay. Oh, I'm going to warn you guys now. I left my setting spray at home because I'm not, I'm not a makeup -y person. So I, like, was doing everything, like, <clears throat> getting everything to get just getting everything together and um i forgot like some things honestly if it comes off it comes off i i know my family they might make speeches i might cry it's gonna come off anyway so it's whatever oh and i'm gonna let you know right now it's not gonna be like no drastic change like i'm gonna look one way to the next no 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 drash drastic change is gonna look like like I'm normal with a little shine, little little glam. So it's like natural. So I'm gonna let this set on my face. I let I usually let this set for like three minutes and then I go in with my foundation. Alright guys, so now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I got this foundation from BH Cosmetics. Like last year I used to be so into makeup and I used to get like, you know, I gotta get cheap things and makeup is expensive. So I got this one from BH Cosmetic. It's the Liquid Foundation BH Cosmetics Complexion Collection. Um, I'm trying to find out what color this is. I don't know. I don't see where it says. Oh, that's it. No, I don't see where it says what color this is. Let me see. I don't know, but this is what it looks like. And this one's like darker than what I usually use because you know, right now I'm dark. I'm on vacation. I'm getting a suntan. And I also, like, when I say I don't put that much, I mean, like, I don't put that much. I put a foundation, and then I put, what I put next? I put on um, foundation, primer, um, concealer. I forgot what this thing is called. Hold on. Pressed powder. Um. Oh. What else do I put on? I put on. This is way lighter than my forehead. Yes. Is that my hair? It's all in my hair. Oh my lord. And it fell. Great. So now that it fell, I have to clean my brush because that's dirty. I use the citrus blush cleaner brush cleaner. I like how I remembered this and now my settings spray. The phone, the phone is ringing. So now I have my foundation. Ooh, now I have my foundation on. 
I'm gonna let this sit also for like three minutes because I'm about to start peeling on my nose. So I could already see it's about to look cakey on my nose. And I do not want to just keep on piling makeup on makeup on makeup on makeup. So I'm gonna let this sit for like three minutes and then I'm gonna come back and then do my pressed powder. Alright guys, so like I said, I'm gonna go in. Why is it so loud? I'm gonna go in with the stay. No, what is this called? Remel. I don't know what the remel is. What is it called? I guess the Remel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. And this is the color 018 Creamy Beige. This is kind of old. I've had this for a while. But since I stopped using makeup, there's no, I'm not going to throw it away. And that's a money down the drain. Alright, so I'm going to just use the powder brush. Oh, my brushes. Guys, my brushes. So this one and this one. All the pink brushes, let me just say, all the pink brushes are from BH Cosmetics. I got them for Christmas, like two years ago. I got them for Christmas, so yeah. And the, it's like this is supposed to be pink, but I use it, so it wasn't pink. I'm just gonna and just put it all over. I put it all over, and then so my face where I don't put what's it called highlighter, so that it's like you know matte. You know, I I tried using the this is pressed powder the other one's like loose powder i guess i don't know i don't know what it's called but i used that powder before and um i just looked like i was a cake like it was so cakey like i don't understand and then after it was cakey i broke out that was a no 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 breaking out no cakiness gotta use the mat and we stay good pew, pew. I feel like that foundation was like is like perfect for my summer skin. It's like it blends right in. I'm getting a pimple. Hopefully it doesn't come out in the pictures. I think I have serious issues. All right, I'm done with this. I'm just spraying it all over my face. All right, so now I'm gonna go in. Where is it? Here it is. All right, this is the Elf. It's a highlighter and a cause oh the phone's ringing. And now I'm actually back. Oh, it's gonna fall. Oh my god, guys, guys. Oh wait, I was telling you what this was. So this is a concealer. This is a highlighter. I honestly don't use this. I use this. All right, guys. So you see, like right there, there, <laughs> there. They, my grandma, got them to decorate my room for happy birthday. I would show you it, but at the moment, you know, I've changed outfits like three times today so it's a mess I, oh and i also don't use contour like i have chubby cheeks there's no making no no there's no making no niceness with this i got chubby cheeks and it's gonna stay like that oh i don't like how that looks that was supposed to be straight up boom ha -ba boom oh so let me show you because i told you guys i'm on vacation but i'll tell you where i was i don't think so i'm on cruise the Royal Caribbean Cruise. What am I using to blend this in? Oh, great. I don't know what I'm using to blend this in. I didn't bring nothing. Let me figure out what I have in this bag. I'm on a Royal, like I said, I'm on a Royal Caribbean Cruise. And, and it's the adventure of the seas. And we, tomorrow, we hit our first stop, which is Florida. I'm going to the outlet, I'm going shopping. And then on, what day is it? On, what day is after Monday? I mean, no, tomorrow's Sunday. So on Monday, we're getting to Coco Cay Bahamas. And we are going to do a water park. And then, what are we doing after that? After that, we get to Nassau Bahamas. And I think we're going to go to the beach. We haven't decided yet. But we're gonna go to the beach. I should probably answer some questions you guys have that you guys asked me on Instagram. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna do it off the top of my head because I can't remember all the questions. So, one of the questions was where are you? Ooh. <laughs> one of the questions was where are you from? Um, My ethnicity is Dominican and Puerto Rican. But I live in New York City, 
hope to move, hate it there, you know. Um, it's not for me. Um, well, I forgot the other questions. That was like the only question I remember. There was more. Um, I forgot. I'm gonna pull them up on my phone real quick and then finish recording after I write them down or something, or I remember them. So give me a sec. I will be back to get the questions. All right. So one of the questions, my first question that I had gotten was, how was it to start your curly hair journey? So, oh, let me see what I'm doing. I'm doing my eyebrows right now. I don't have to do much. I got like the like layer and stuff. So, how was the start my hair journey? It was stressful. I could put some pictures like on the top or something to show you to show you like how my hair was when I first started. I never permed my hair. That was a no no. My mom would not let me do that. That was a no. I just straightened it and flat ironed it. I should go into the hair salon to straighten it once a week. But in between that, I um clearly flat ironed it at home. So it just made my hair like fried. Like completely fried. Is my hair sticking up? I'ma just cut those few, I guess. Um, that's not cute. Oh, maybe that's just my eyebrow. I don't know no more. Hold on. Oh, no, that wasn't my eyebrow. That was me. Okay, so it was very stressful because my hair had always been different textures. Like, the inside of my hair, like over here, have always been the most curliest. So when I used to straighten it, that used to be the part, like, the next day, it was already a frizzy and everything else was straight, right? Mm -hmm. So, that was the most stressful part of my journey. The fact that I had different textures originally, and then just starting the journey made it, like, more different textures. Um, hold on. Okay. I don't really feel in my eyebrows. I just feel, like, the little holes. Okay. So... It, that was the most stressful and then my hair wanted to start transitioning but it was transitioning really weirdly like every part was transitioning except for like this like the crown but like the back crown that part wasn't transitioning and it's the least moisturized what am i doing now oh my eyes i'm gonna do my eyes now guys oh i lied no should i do my eyes first no i'm gonna put the concealer under my eyebrows first so it was stressful, but then, like, good at the same time because I looked at pictures from when I was younger and kind of, like, was like, you know, this is how your hair is going to be when you're done transitioning. So you're going to be good. Um, I'm still transitioning. Um, I'm not completely finished. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Like, if you guys see my page, I'm almost there. I feel like... When I I have I over bleh, I always have different textures in my hair. I looked at pictures from when I was younger. I had that picture there too, but I looked at pictures from when I was younger, and I've always had different textures. So I'm not even trying to make my curls something that it's not anymore. I've accepted the fact that my hair is multiple textures. I mean, not textures, multiple curl types. There you go. That's the word I've been looking for. Curls. Oh wait, I need it now. Curl types. So, yeah, I would say just keep doing what you're doing and not straightening it. I only straightened it once throughout the whole time, and that was, like, a month ago. And it was just to see how I wanted my hair for today and never again. Like, I liked it, but I felt like it was too flat. I felt like it was too flat to my head. So, yeah, we're going to keep it with curls not straight end so now i'm just gonna go around my eyebrow oh my god i put it in my eyebrow i'm gonna have to cut that out at some point where's my mat thingy no not that not the mat where's the this is the brush all right so now i'm gonna do my eyes this palette was with me on the last cruise and it fell and then I guess it was in my bag this cruise and it fell again. So it's kind of all over the place. But it's the Morphe 
35. I'm not gonna open it because then powder is gonna go everywhere. So I'm gonna open it laying down. Oh, and the powder went everywhere anyway. I'm gonna open it laying down, not opening it from the camera. So I can put I'll put a picture of it and I'll just put little like dots of what I'm using and when I'm using it. So I'm going to start off using where is my brush? Here it is. The Vasanti Contour Eyeshadow 4 brush. I got this in an Ipsy box. Like last year or something. I don't know. Alright, so I'm gonna go in with I definitely forgot how to do makeup. I'm gonna go in. No, I lied, I'm not gonna go in with that yet. I'm gonna go in with the Danielle under eye concealer brush. I, I use this for eyeshadow, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going with like a base color. So I'll show you what it looks like in the screen. This is like the base color. I'll also include the picture, like I said. So I'm just gonna do the eyebrow, ooh, the eyeshadow. This is really weird, cause I gotta have one eye open and one eye closed. Yeah, we're gonna use that as base color, okay? So the other side. I'm tearing, this is great. Now I'm going to use the Basanti brush that I was talking about before. And this is going to be for like the darker color up there. I realize this color is really dark, but it's okay. Because my lighter color is kind of has glitter on it. So we're not going to do that. So I'm going to go in with the darker color for my crease. This is what the darker color looks like. Dark one. Like I said, it's not gonna be no drastic change. Like, yeah, I'm gonna look normal. I don't. I the reason I feel like drastic changes they come from the. Oh my lord! What did I do up here? I feel like drastic, bleh, drastic changes come from the eyeliner, and I don't put any eyeliner on because my eyes are too big for that. It looks bad. <sighs> Like, clearly there's a difference, like, yeah, but it's like a natural difference. So now I'm going to go in with the color that was all over the place. And it's a glittery color. Oh, my dress is blue, so I kind of can't do any other makeup. This is the color for the glitter. I'm going to do it over here. Oh. That's bright. I gotta go in with the crease again. <laughs> I just made a mess. Remind me to never do makeup again. Where's, I don't have a wipe. I do have a wipe, I don't know where it's at. I was going with the crease again right real quick because There you go, that's better. I could have just put this on um, over here. I'll put more concealer. It'll make it like it was never it'll make it look like it was never there. So I'll do a little more up here. Alright. Now I'm gonna do the other side. This side is working better. Probably because it has like less product on the actual color. Okay, going back with the creams. Back with the creams. Alright, back with the crease again on this side. I'm gonna just use 
Mm, where is it? I guess I'll use the same one I just used. Just to go on to like this right here. There you go. Alright. So now. Am I, do I have to go back in? No, I don't think so. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with my highlighter. I'm using the ColourPop Candy Man color highlighter. I also got this from Ipsy Mighty Bag. And this is the last thing I'm going to be doing. Oh no, I like put mascara on. We're going to do that first. Um, I'm going to use the LA Colors HD Waterproof Mascara. I've had this for so long. I honestly, oh no, there's stuff in here. There's a little bit. Go in. Now, I will do the highlighter and then lip gloss, and then I think we are done. Where's my highlighter? Oh, I use a contour brush for a highlighter just because it has the shape. And if it doesn't want to work, then I'll use my finger. Finger it is. This is like the pigment of it, that's why. This is what it's supposed to be looking like at the moment, but it's not. Now it is. All right, this side. Oh, it's glowing. Put it in the middle because that was a lot. How am I do? How how is this gonna stay without setting spray? I don't know. We're gonna have to see by the end of the night what it looks like. Okay. There you go. Down here. On the mouth. There you go. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my lip gloss. I'm gonna use the Victoria's Secret gloss. I don't know what color. Oh, peekaboo. This is peekaboo. I'm gonna use a natural color because I don't think I don't think any color looks good with any color on the lips look good with blue dress. So I'm just using natural color. So, yeah, that was my makeup. I'm just going to show you guys my jewelry. I I got this bracelet I'm going to put on. I got different size earrings. I don't know which one I'm wearing. And I got a necklace. So, I'll come back to you guys when my hair is out of this. I have my necklace on. I have my dress on. And then in the end, I'll put some pictures of what my little dinner thing came out to. So, I'm not going to say thank you for watching yet because you're not done. So, I'll do that afterwards. Don't break my this dress. Where? Oh. Not the the strings go inside? Mm, I don't No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to tie it first and then put the things inside. Okay. You look good? Yeah. She is trying to be extra skinny. That ass. Oof.